All right, good morning. And this morning, we're back on the Studebaker. Actually, last night, we got all this back up, pressed the cam back on, well, the cam, even though it had a bad gear on it, I still wanna know if it's cut right. If it's cut right, ground right, reground right, then that's a different story in making a decision. So it was a lot of work just to be able to make a decision besides canning this cam. So anyway, went back on the press, got everything all back on and back on this cam. This is the last cam. And yesterday I was just venting, which is good because it's therapeutic for me. And all I wanted to let you know is no matter what goes on, you can still be happy. You can still be happy. It is what it is. It's not my fault that, you know, you can get frustrated and it just, it adds to the frustration or the customer wants his engine. He doesn't want me to frustrate and just give up on it. That's, a, that's not going to help him any. It's not helping anybody any. And if anything else, this can help y'all understand that this is what it goes. Everything's as easy to build an engine. I told you yesterday, I read a comment. Well, it takes a long to build an engine. Well, how many engines have you built? And how long are they? Are they, are they still working? How long have they run? Anyway, whoo, happy Friday. Happy Friday. We're here for y'all. We're here for him. We're here for my own mental health. This is therapeutic. What did I do when I put this cam on here? Some more tips of the day, because if I can add some tips of the day, it actually will help. This is a Studebaker, and it actually the Studebakers have um, all kinds of, pro when you look at them, they look like a Cadillac. They look like a Ford FE. They look like a Chevy. They look like everything else. So the front snout, fortunately, we can use the adapter that we use to turn the crank from the front of the engine. I didn't have an adapter for my degree wheel. Don't be laughing at my degree wheel and saying, oh, look at the little degree wheel. Daddy don't have a little, you know. No, I have a big one, all right? It's just what fits on here. So let's not talk about size today. So I got you covered. All right, here we go. So we got this on, and look what I've done, a little tip of the day. I've taken it, I machined the front of it, drilled a couple little holes, put some Allen screws in there, put a washer on it. Now I have a degree wheel. I also drilled the side of it and put an Allen wrench on it. I don't know if you can see it or you can't see it. And I can tighten it up and it doesn't move. It's stationary. It is on there really good. You want to see a video on degree in a cam? All you got to do is ask. You know me, but I got to edit them too besides just shooting them. So I got a piston stop up here. What is a piston stop? It stops the piston from going all the way up to top dead center. Real simple. I've made some for different engines. It doesn't matter what you use a piece of metal across here. We're just stopping it from getting up to top dead center. We don't want it to top dead center. Why? Because we're finding top dead center. You're going like, what the heck is he talking about? All right. By stopping the piston at top dead center, I turn the engine over until it hits the piston stop. Don't hit the piston stop. That's another pet peeve of mine. Be easy on it. All right, once I do that, I have these little pieces of the tape that I just cut out of some tape and I stick it on there, bam. Then I turn it the opposite way, all the way around till it hits the piston stop. Gently kisses the piston stop. Bam, there it is right there. Okay, it couldn't get to top dead center because of the piston stop. It couldn't get to top dead center because of the piston stop. Now you can count how many of these little lines are in between the two marks, divided in half, that is top dead center. That's how you find top dead center. I could move the wire now over to right here and that's top dead center. What I do, and I'll do it right here with one hand behind my back while holding the camera. I loosen up right here, loosen this up right here, and I turn my dial over to there. See that? That's top dead center. Done. Anyway, there's plenty of ways you can do it. I can move the wire over. What I'm actually gonna do, because now I know the center, and I just loosened it up and I moved it, but what I like to do is just, and I'm gonna do it again anyway, I'm gonna turn this dial, and when it's set, instead of moving the wire, it will be at TDC. It will be at TDC index correctly. So, I move the dial, I'm gonna re redo it again. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna find out real shortly I'm not gonna do a lot because I need both hands. I'm gonna go ahead and degree this. I'll come back on and um, let you know how this, this is the, the main thing. I've had a lot of people that are building Studebakers that are asking me, where did I get the camshaft from? Um, here's the deal. 
this is the deal. There isn't anybody making a new camshaft for Studebaker. So we have to do what we have to do. It's, you just have to. Or I can cry and give it up and say, I'm never going to build a Studebaker ever again. No, I like challenges. I like to build the best motor that we can build. And this is going to be a fine engine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be crisp. It's going to have a lot of power. It may, you know, take an act of Congress, an act of God. It may take an act of me working. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to stay here. Y'all are going to get out of here so I can get to work. I'll come back on a little bit. All right. Happy Friday. Cheer up, everybody. It's Friday. Make it your best day ever ever um and it will be the best day ever today's better than yesterday look any day above ground is a good day see you in a little bit i don't know i keep looking to the wrong person this is good looking guy on my screen here i don't know